the rankings come out. Is that, is that correct? When the rankings come out? Tomorrow. Oh, okay. I must be thinking ahead then. <laughs> so hopefully it'd be interesting where Central Methodist is. They may, ring, may move on up as well. They knocked off the number four ranked team, Missouri Baptist. And then also number 22 ranked Bellevue as well. So they should be coming on up. So the officiating crew are all set. Both the liberals come on in as first service. Watch my home oil here in Fayette, Missouri. And now, that's Crystal Bronner. And Central Methodist has won the toss. And we'll have our first serve there. Giovanni Kuntz from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. There's that jump serve. As Kate Jackson will say, one inning. <laughs> Line drive serve to Wolf. Here's Coons. They'll set it up for kick. -up. Puts it down there. One to nothing, Central Methodist. One to nothing, Central Methodist. And Giovanni Coots will serve. Another line drive serve. Here comes Baker on the attack there. Blocked. And a point for Baker. Tied at one. Tied at one. And now in the, the And now in the service, Sophie Heidenbrand. She's from Oak Grove, Missouri. Around the Kansas City area. Kick on digs it out there. Let's see, they get it off to Wolf. Back comes Baker. Brawner dumps it. Nice job to kick him. Saves it, beauty. What a job there. Oh, nice job by Wolf. And that's out of bounds. Uh, point for Baker. 2 1 now is our score. 2 1 is our score. Line drive, sir, to kick him. Nice job there by Grace Stumball. We're tied at two. Two twos are score now. And coming in to score. And that is Destiny Vaden. Jane kick him in the serve from Springfield, Missouri. Home of Bob Barker. He used to host The Price is Right. And before that, he used to host a, a, a show called Truth or Consequences. Oh, nice job. Now let's see what Baker does here. Kick him. They set it up for Coon. There's Wolf. Nice job there. Here comes Brawner to Coons. Stumble puts it down. Three to two, Central Methodist. Even though the scoreboard says 0-0, zero, zero, it should be Central Methodist three, Baker two. Kick him in the serve. Line drive serve there. Here comes Baker. Dug out to kick him. Stumball. Back comes. Blocked. Vaden to Coons. Double hit call tied at three. Nicole Johnson from Peculiar, Missouri, around the Kansas City area. Brawner to Coons. Nice job, everybody. Destiny Vaden makes it four to three, Central Methodist. Four three, Central Methodist. Crystal Brawner, the freshman from Jeff City, went to Jeff City, Hawaii. Of course, I think there's also one of her teammates, Callie Henson, it's also there, and then, oh yeah, an ace, five to three, Centralman. And then another player, L.A. Rockers, who's now playing at Columbia College. I know Hawaii's always had a good volleyball program in the last several years there. Five three is our score. Here comes Baker. Dug out to Bronner. There's Wolf. Back comes Baker. 
kick him. Coons. Whoa! Puts it down. Six to three. Central Methodist. Crystal Bronner still serving. Line drive serve. Here comes Baker. And a point for Baker. Makes it six to four now. Now we got the scoreboard. I'll sit. Skyler Brook. Brook. From Branson, Missouri. Almost Silver Dollar City and Soji Jabu could play a fiddle. <laughs> he could play a fiddle. <laughs> Known to play a fiddle. Coons. They set it up perfectly. Oh, yeah! Jordan Wall, 7 to 4. Shannon Peters. That's Callie Henson. There's Shannon Peters in the serve from Willie Missouri. Went to St. Paul Lutheran High School. Sure, her mom and dad are here tonight. They're just sitting in the front row. Line drive serve. Here comes Baker. And a point for Baker makes it seven to five. Jordan Hasbrook in the serve. Kick him. And a little miscommunication, and it's now seven to six. And that's an ace tied at seven. Looked like it was going to go out, but it snuck the line. Tied at seven now. We always since going in. At a point, I think it's a net call, and Baker leads it eight to seven now. Eight seven to our score. Kick him. Peters. Here's Henson. Callie Henson ties it in. So Brooke Hargar will check into the game there. From Perryville, Missouri. Line drive serve, here comes Baker, left-handed shot, and a point for Baker, makes it nine to eight. Nine eights our score. Brawner to Peters, Henson left-handed, just a bit out. And 10-8 lead now. I thought it hit the out, hit down that right field line. Looks like Michaela Garcia in the search just grazes the net. Kick him, back on Baker. Hogarth to Peters, they set it up for kick him, kick him. And a point for Central Methodist. Now it's 10 to nine now. Taylor Rumsey will come into the game from Higginsville, Missouri. One of my good friends is from that area named Kim Goforth, who was a student athletic trainer during her four years at Central Methodist. And a point for Central Methodist. Looks like a net call tied at 10 now. Ten, ten, tie. Line drives here. Here comes Baker, and a point for Baker makes it eleven to ten now. Yeah, 
So Megan Milroy will serve from Spring Hill, Kansas. 11-10 Bakers, our score, Quentin Norris sitting in the catbird seat. Kick him, the Peters. Stumball gets a block, recovers it by Peters. Back to Brawner, they set it up for kick him. Kick him, here comes Baker. Double hit call, tied at 11 now. I think that's supposed to be 11. So Giovanna Kuntz will serve. Line drive serve, back comes, comes Baker. Kuntz set it up for stun ball. Bingo, 12-11 Central Methodist. Largest lead Central Methodist had was three. I think the largest lead for Baker I think it's been two. Line drive serve there. And a tie game at 12 now. And now in the serve is Sophie Heidenbrand. Kick him. Here's Stumball, just a bit outside. And it's 13 to 12 now. Sophie Heidenbrand still serving. Back comes Coons. Here's kick on a little tip shot. Back comes Baker. Now they set it up for Brawner. They set it up for Wolf. Jordan Wolf. Kick him, the Coons. Bango, Jordan Wall tied at 13. So Jane Kickham will serve. Jared Kink giving out the instructions here. And now here's Kickham. Line drive serve. Brawner. There's Wolf. Now here, see what happens. Kick him. Coons. Stumball. Point Central Methodist. 14 to 13. Doing fine. 14 13 now. Line drives. Serve. Dug out there, Coons, they set it up for kick him, kick him. Back comes Baker, Vaden, Coons, Wolf, back comes Baker. Brawner, Coons, there's Vaden. Block, a point tied at 14. Cole Johnson serving. Stumball. Cool. They set it up. I think it's a net call. And it's 15 14. Bang. Kick off. Coons. Wolf. Ties at 15. Jordan Wolf. So Crystal Bronner in the serve. So what? 15 all. Kick off. Coons. Oh, nice shot by Vaden. Now comes Baker. And a point for Baker, leads it 16-15. Skylar Brook will serve from next, from Branson, Missouri. 
kick him. Coons line drives, and it's a tie game at six. So Shannon, Shannon Peters and Callie Henson check in. Hyde at 16. Back comes Baker. Brawner, left-handed shot, kick him to Peters. They set it up for Henson. Henson. Peter, now watch Baden. And a point for Baker, makes it 17-16. Jordan Hasbrook from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Into the net, we're tied at 17. So Brooke Hogar will come on into the game. Let's see what Baker does here. Brawner kicks it out to Peters. They set it up. Let's see what they do. Dostamento, Peters, kick him. Beautiful, 18-17. Nice touch shot by Jane Kickham. Brooke Hogarth still serving. Line drive serve and a point. I would say give her an ace. Why not? 19 to 17. Hogarth still serving. Let's see if, oh, nice floater. Let's see what they happens here. Brawner, Peter, set it up for Hanson. Yes, on the line! Oh, baby, 20 to 17. Timeout, Baker, in the first instance from Western 20. Baker, 17, and you're on CMUEagles.com. How's it going there? <laughs> Long time no see you. I'm trying to remember what's your name? Riley. Riley. Yeah, Riley. I was trying to remember. Seventeen set one. Quentin Norris calling from the catbird, sitting in the catbird gate. <laughs> and Brooke Hogarth is still serving. That matches the largest lead there in that first set, which it was at one time seven four early in that first set. Line drive serve. Here comes Baker, and a point now for Baker. Now it's twenty to eighteen now. Michaela Garcia in the serve from Andorra, Kansas. Peters. Oh, yeah, right on the line, 21-18. Mariana Dasamento. Taylor Rumsey comes into the game. Of course, from Higgins Hill. Famous restaurant you ever eat there called the Red Shanty. Beautiful place. Oh, yeah, it's an ace. Thanks to 2218. I even got my car there. We even bought a Ford Fusion there about three years ago from a guy named Kevin Hoplander. Rumsey to Peters. Kick him. Peters set it up for kick him. Kick him. Yes! 
23-18. Have you? Eudora, huh? That comes Baker. Peters set it up there. I think that's Hogar. Beautiful shot. Now here comes Baker. Rumsey. Peter Stumball. Maybe a net call there. It, no, it's a lift. 23 19 now. Looks like Megan Milroy will serve. Central West is two points away from a victory. Nice dug out there by Peter. Good job by Kickham. Back comes Baker. Good job by Hogar. Peter set up for Kickham. Kickham. It hit the antenna. And it's 23 20 now. Peters, there it comes. Kick off! 24-20 now, set point now. All right, fans, stand up and get those hands clapping. All right, fans, stand up and get those hands clapping. And Gina Von Koontz will serve for the set. Line drive serve there. There comes Baker. Bronner, Koontz, here's Wolf, here comes Baker. Tip shot, nice shot, a kick on recovering it. Wolf, and a net call, 24-21 now. Now set point number two. Taylor Kyle into the game there. Wolf, kick off. Yes! Central Methodist wins the first game, 25 21. And, and we will begin set number two, as Chuck Warren will say. We'll do it all in two minutes, two seconds. Be back right at you on CMUEagles.com. Central Methodist won the first one, 25-21, as we begin set to, of course, the NFL on Thursday night. On the NFL Network, begins with six at 6 p.m. with host Rich Eisen in the game. 
720. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers take on your Carolina Panthers. That should be a lot of fun. Of course, the Kansas City Chiefs are 1 0. How about Sammy Watkins? Six catches, 198 yards, three touchdowns there. And how about Patrick Mahomes? Throwing three touchdowns here in a 40 to 26 victory. Even though I know uh, if you ever, if for many of us that watch that game, if, if you remember that they were having some technical pump with about 7:32 left in the fourth quarter, and they switched over to the Tennessee Cleveland game there. And then we capped off Week One last night with a couple of Monday nighters. How about the New Orleans Saints on a 50-yard field goal by Will Luntz to beat the Houston Texans 30 to 28? And then the Oakland Raiders defeated the Denver Broncos 24 to 16 there. And Kansas City does play Oakland 3 o'clock in Oakland. And the way things are looking right now, this will be the final time that the Chiefs will play a regular season game in Oakland because next year they're moving to Las Vegas. And they'll be playing in, I think, like in a 60,000 seat stadium. And I think I saw pictures of it just a month ago. And I think that was when Oakland played Arizona in an NFL preseason game there. As we begin set number two there. Peters to Coons. Stumball. Back comes. Block! Gray Stumball! One to nothing, Central Methodist. Destiny Baden, Jane Kicken will serve. Mine drive serve. Here comes Baker. Kick him back to Coon. Baden, touch shot. Two to nothing, Central Methodist. Two to nothing, Central Methodist. Kick them, still serving. Back comes Baker. Kick them. Coons set it up. Stumball gets a block. Stumball recovers it. Coons recovers the block to Bronner. Bronner set it up for Wolf. Wolf. And I think it's a double hit call, and it's three to nothing now. <laughs> I always have my school. Three nothing is our score. Line drive, sir. Four to nothing on an ace. Four nothing now. Back comes Baker. Stumball. Coons. And a five-nothing lead! Oh, baby! Five to nothing now. Six to nothing! Six nothing is our score. Six nothing. Wolf. Back comes Baker. Block. Seven to nothing. Or as Mitch Holden would say, touchdown, Kansas City. Seven to nothing now. I wonder if they have some of that magic from Patrick Mahomes. Kick him. Kunz. Vaden. It hit the antenna and a point for Baker. And now in the serve is Kelsey Simmons from Overbrook, Kansas. Kick him. Kunz. Stumball out of bounds. Now seven to two now.
seven serves to kick him. Coons. Whoa! Jordan Wolf makes it eight to two. Eight to two now. Crystal Bronner will serve. Here comes a the line. Eight to two now. Back comes Baker. Baden. Coons. Wolf. Jack. Let's see what they do here. Kick him. Coons. Baden. And a point for Baker makes it eight to three now. Nicole Johnson. Kick him. Coons. Nice job by Dosimento. And it's out of bounds. A point to the Methodist. Nine to three. Callie Henson. Of course, the Cardinals will be getting started in about five minutes down in Colorado, taking on the Colorado Rockies. The Cardinals have about a three game lead in the National League Central Division. Peters will serve. Out of bounds, makes it 10 to 3. And it looks like a net call makes 11 to 3. Well, Eleven to three now. Back comes Baker. Kick him. Peters. Now they said uh, for Baden, but hit the antenna, and it's eleven to four now. Skylar Brooks will serve. Line drive serve to Brawner. Peters. Here's Henson. Beautiful! Kelly Henson! 12 to, 12 to 4 now. So Brooke Hogar will serve. Line drive serve there. Here comes Baker. Hogarth to Peters, Peters to kick him. Brawner, Peters set it up for Henson. Yes! Callie Henson makes it 13 to 4. Look, Hogarth still serving. Line drive serve. Peters. Here's Kickham. Peter, Peter set it up for Dasamento! 14 to 4. Hogar will serve. And a point for Baker makes it 14 to, to 5. 14 5 now. Jordan Hasbrook will serve. Brawner, Peters. Here's Kickham. Back comes Baker. Brawner, Peters. Henson, oh yeah, a point. Even the coach tried to put it in play, but it does not work. 15 to five now. So 
Taylor Rumsey will serve. Out of bounds, makes it six, 15 to six now. As Michaela Garcia will serve from Eudora, Kansas. And a point now for Baker, now it's 15-7. to seven now Peters Henson puts it down 16 to seven Giovanna Coots will serve go, 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 go. That on the line. And it's on the line, 17 to seven. Jane Kickham with the point. Gina Vonna Coons will serve. Seventeen seven. a little miscommunication and a point and it looks like an injury, but I think, she, I think she is okay now. They're gonna check to make sure. Coons will serve again. Line drive out of bounds. Makes it 18 to 8 now. Megan Milroy will serve. Central Methodist led from start to finish. Jumped ahead 7 to nothing. Coons sets it up for Wolf. Here comes Baker. See what happens here. Nice dug out by Stumball back to Coons. Here's Kim. Kick him out of bounds. Now it's 19, 18 to 9. Kick them. Back comes Baker. See what they do here. Brawner, Coons, Wolf gets it blocked. Dug out there by Hogar to kick them. Great job by Central Methodist. Um, and a point for Baker. Now it's eight, 18 to 10 now. Baker's making a little run, 3-0 run now. Central Methodist won the first one, 25-21. Hogar, the Coons, set it up for Kickham. Kickham, back comes Baker. Dug out by Hogar. Stumball gets it blocked, but a point for Baker. Now it's 18-11 now. Eleven now, just raises the net. Here's Coons, Stumbo puts it over. Nineteen eleven now. Jane Kickham will serve. Line drive serve. Here comes Baker. Brawner, Coons, Stumbo. 20 and 11. 20 and 11 is our score now. Twenty eleven. 11, here comes Baker. And a point for Baker, makes it 20 to 12. The Hall of Fame. Sophie Heiden Heldenbrand will serve. Brawner, Coons. 
Oh, beautiful at number 10. Rebecca Neighbors makes it 21 to 12. Crystal Bronner will serve. Line drive. So, oh, it is 22 to 12. 22 to 12 now. Line drive serve. Here comes Baker. Brauner to Wolf. Block. Brauner recovers it to Neighbors. Back comes Baker. And a point for Baker. Makes it 22 13 now. Nicole Johnson. Bronner, Kuhn, here's Neighbors. Back comes Baker. Trying to dig it out, and a point for Baker. Makes it 22-14 now. Now. Kick him, Coons. Dotsamel gets a block to Coons. Brauner. Here's kick him. Yes! 23-14. Shannon Peters would serve. Two points away from taking a 2-0 lead now. Line drive, sir. Here comes Baker. Out of bounds. 24-14. And now set point again. All right, fans, stand up. Get those hands clapping. <laughs> Boys, it feels like I'm at Yankee Stadium on, on ABC's Monday Night Baseball. And every time when the Yankees have two strikes, they know they get the hands clapping. And a point makes it 24-15. Skyler Brook will serve. One more point away. Kick him. Peters. Here's Henson. Yes! Central Methodist wins it! 25 15. And we lead the match. Two games and nothing.
Central Metro Mess won the first two sets. They won the first one 25 21, 25 15. And now we're getting ready for set number three there. Of course, tomorrow the Central Methodist women's soccer is taking on Bethany down in Lindsburg, Kansas. A five o'clock start time as well. The next home game for the Central Methodist volleyball is not until the September the 20th. In about 10 days as they take on Clark. Seven o'clock start time. Pre-game show at 6.45 p.m. Also a couple of milestones you may say there. Could be taking place on Saturday at the women's soccer game versus William Woods. That's a five o'clock game. This could be number 2,400 there. So another milestone for me. And then also a week from tomorrow when the women's soccer hopes and conference play against Missouri Valley. If their thing goes according to play, this could be game number, the, the 1100th Central Methodist game throughout my 27 years as a broadcaster. And of course, if you're ever in Central Methodist, be sure to go visit the Hall of Fame. There is a picture of me in the Hall of Fame. In the <coughs> as we're about ready to get set number three. Also, Thursday night, we got a special Major League Baseball game there on Fox. Some of you will see the Atlanta Braves take on the Philadelphia Phillies. Or maybe you will see the Los Angeles Dodgers take on the Baltimore Orioles. Six o'clock start time on Fox. Check your local listings there. And also three weeks tonight, the Major League Baseball playoffs begin with the National League wild card game. Most likely be the Washington National could be, you know, the Chicago Cubs in the National League wild card game out in National Park. And then three weeks from tomorrow is the American League's wild card game. And I think it could be Cleveland and maybe the Oakland A's. Central Methodist just needs one more victory for win number 12, but most importantly, 2-0 in the conference. Giovanni Kuntz will serve. Will serve. Line drive serve there. And that's a point for Central Methodist. One to nothing. For the third straight set, Central Methodist leads it one to nothing. Koontz will serve again there. Back comes Baker. Block out of bounds, and it's a tie game at one. So now in the... Sophie Hildenbrand will serve. Just grazes in at the stumball. Now Coons. Coons will set it up for Wolf. Beautiful Jordan Wolf. Boy. Boy, I tell you one thing. I tell you that Jordan Wolf has played a great game tonight. Boy, she has really played well. Of course, she is a transfer from Columbia College. Was on that volleyball team that played Park in the NAIA Volleyball Championships last December. Block. Yes! Thank you. I think it is Stumble. I do believe, ladies and gentlemen. Three to one now. Kick and will serve. Line drive serve there. Here comes Baker. Baker on the attack. Block. Out of bounds. So three to two now. And that second set, Central Methodist jumped ahead seven to nothing. And at one time, the largest lead, I think it was 10. So Nicole Johnson will serve to kick him. Looks like Coons. I think that was Neighbors. Brawner, Coons. They set it up for Neighbors who couldn't get it over the net. We're tied at three. Nicole Johnson will serve. Junior from Peculiar, Missouri, around the Kansas City area. Line drive to pick, kick him. 
Coons. There's Jordan Wall, four to three, Central Methodist. Crystal Bronner, she is from Jesse, home of Rod Smith, famous for Rod's Big Old Fish. Just into the net, tied at four. Skyward Brook. Skyward Brook in the serve. She is high back and play. Here is Kickham Coons. I think maybe a double hit call. And for the first time since set one, Baker has the lead. Central Methodist won the first one, 25 21. 25 15. Kick him. Coons. Sets it up for Wolf. Wolf. Back comes Baker. Brawner. Coons. Brawner. A net violation makes it six to four now. Neighbors, kick them. Neighbors, good job there, good hustle. Let's see what's it. And a point makes it seven to four now. Three zero run now by Baker, trying to stay alive. Brawner. Neighbor sets it up for Coons. Here's Wolf, puts it down the right field line. Seven to five now. Callie Henson and Shannon Peters will serve. Peters serves, line drive serve, here comes Baker, kick him, Peters, neighbors, block, back to Peters. Jensen, boy, she has played a spectacular game. Makes it seven to six now. Shannon Peters, and another ball in there, gets in the way. Or as Jerry Robinson would say on the Bob New Art Show, dog on the field. Oh, a kill there makes it eight to six. <laughs> the bomb. He comes with the bomb. Jordan Hasbrook. Brawner, Peters. Here's Hanson. Back comes Baker. Peters, Brawner, Hanson, there's, oh, beautiful, uh, Callie Henson. I tell you this, Callie Henson is going to get better each time. It's gotten better each time. And it's eight to seven as in the serve, Brooke Hogard. Line drive serve there. Brawner, Peters. Kick them. Yes! Tied at eight. <laughs> Set number three. Hogarth serve. Line drives. <laughs> and a point for Baker makes it 9 8. Kayla Garcia will serve. Line drive to Brawner. Peters. Oh, beautiful job by Anna Wolf. Tied at nine now. Looks like Rebecca.
Dottie Powell will serve from Leewood, Kansas. Line drive serve. Here comes Baker. Block. Stumball to Peters. I think that was kick him, but back comes Baker. Stumball. Pow. Kick him. Good job there. Peters. Looks like Pow. Set up for kick him. Yes! Jane Kickham gets Central Methodist away. 10 to 9. First time they've led since it was 4 3 in the third set. Powell serve. Line drive serve. Here come Baker. Peters. Powell. Here's Hinson. Back comes Baker. Stumball. Peters. Kick him. Peters, Powell, Henson, Powell, Peters, into the net, makes it 11 to 9. Powell will serve again. Out of bounds, makes it 12 to 9. I bet. <coughs> 12 to 9 now. Watch this. 12 to 9. Powell digs it over to. Looks like that is Powell. That comes out and down the line. It's a 12 to 10 now. As Anna Wolf checks back in there. Megan Milroy will serve. Peters. Henson, I think she may have touched the net, and she did, and it's 12 11 now. Twelve eleven's our score. Kick him. Peters sets it up. Oh, just misses the net. 12 12 5. Twelve, twelve, <clears throat> kick him. Peter, stumble. Back comes. Peters, Henson, and it's a point for Baker, and Baker leads it thirteen to twelve. Garrett Coleman Lee giving out instructions. Trying to dig it out. Oh, couldn't get it over. And now Baker leads it 14 to 12. And a timeout by Central Methodist. Here in the third set, Baker 14, Central Methodist 12.
on the floor. You got Hogard, Henson, Bronner, Kickham, Peters, and Stumball. Baker still serving. Kickham to Peters. Henson gets it blocked. Back to Hogard. Kickham. Back comes Baker. And a point makes it 15 to 12. Baker needs to win one to stay alive. Line drive serve. Kick him. Henson misses the net. Oh my. 16 to 12. That's been the largest lead. Destiny Vaden. That's been the largest lead for Baker the entire time. Peter, kick him. Here comes Baker. Peter, kick him. Peters. Oh, nice job there. Here comes Baker. Brawner, Peters. Destiny Fade and puts it down. 16-13. Giovanna Coots. Let's see if we get the rally going there, folks. Line drive, sir. Here comes Baker. Looks like Hogar. Yes! Stumble! 16-14 now. Coons, line drive serve, here comes Baker. Little miscommunication and it's 17 to four. Sophie Heldebrand. Coons. Kick him. And a block makes it 17 to 15. So Jane Kickham will serve. Line drive serve. Stumball to Coon. Here's Jordan Wolf. Oh, nice job. But it went out of bounds. It's now 18-15. And then Nicole Johnson will serve. Kick him. Coons. Neighbors. And a point for Baker makes it 19-15. Nicole Johnson still serving. Kick him. Coons. Stumball puts it down. 21. 19 to 16 now. Crystal Bronner will serve. Line drive serve. Here comes Baker. Neighbors. Kick him. Set it up for Wolf. Neighbors. The Coons. Here's Wolf. Block. Back comes Baker. Kick him. Wolf. Coons. Wolf. Yes! 19 to 17. 
Boy, she has played a great game tonight. Nineteen seventeen now. Wolf. Nice job there. Neighbors to Coons. Neighbors. Brawner. Nice job and kick him. But out of bounds. Twenty to seventeen. Skyward Brook. Skyward Brook in the serve. Baker five points away to force the game four. Brawner, Coons. Wool puts it down. Twenty to eighteen. Shannon, Pe Shannon Peters and Destiny Baden check in. Peters, line drive serve. Here comes Baker. Peters, Brawner, Baden puts it down, 20 to 19. 20 to 19 now. Twenty 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 nineteen. 2019. Neighbors. Brawners. Block. Peters digs it out to, pe to kick him. They set it up for Vaden. We're tying at 20. Da, da, da. Or is Hugh Downs and Barbara Walters to say we're it's 2020? ABC's 2020. And at one time they had a guy named Ted Koppel. <laughs> there was an old 20, and now Baker leads at 21 20. Jordan Hasbrook. Into the net, tied at 21. <laughs> 21 all, Brooke Hogard in the serve. Floater, nine drive serve, here comes Banker. Peters, sets it up, beautiful, and a wall! Central Methodist leads at 22-21. Boy, she's played good. Her mom and dad are here. Natalie and Wayne Wolf from Bolivar, Missouri. Peters, kick him. Back comes Baker. Peters. Vaden, yes, 23-21. Two more points away, timeout, Baker. Third set, Central Methodist 23, Baker 21 on CMUEagles.com.
Two points away from victory number 12. Most importantly, 2-0 in the conference. Listen to this crowd. Out of bounds, 24-21. Match point. All right, fans, stand up. Get those hands clapping. Match point. Floater. Here comes Kevin! And as the great Jack Buck would say it best, that's the winner, folks! Central Methodist has won it. 25-21. Let's recap the scores for tonight. Central Methodist won the first one, 25-21. Then 25-15, set two. And then the third one, 25-21. The victory, they're 12 and two. They're two and zero oh in the conference. Next game up is Friday they're in, in Lamoni, Iowa, taking on Graceland, seven o'clock start time. The next home game is not until September the 20th. We welcome in Clark University to town, 6.45 pregame show, seven o'clock first serve. This is Quentin Norris saying so long from Puckett Field House. That's 2,387 of them. Good night, everybody.